Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is, I'm Donna Jones, and this is Be You Say Bye. To anything that hinders you from serving God, putting Him first, seeking Him first, and then it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His right way of doing things, and then everything else will be added. That's Matthew 6, 33. Amen. And I'm just here to tell you, that God is good. I don't care what the situation is, what the circumstance is, how you feel, how you look at things, how you hear things, how you see things. Just trust God. And the reason why I say that is because I'm trusting God right now. <laughs> because I had a little encounter this morning, and, the, and I, all I could hear is God's voice saying, how you going to handle it? You know, I wanted to handle it in my own way, in Donna's way. But I had to take a deep breath. Calm down. Usha. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know y'all out there. I know, I know. I know you're going through. You've been through. Well, I read um, Matthew 18, 15 through 17. And it says, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. Let me go to another one. As for uh, Titus 3.10, as for person who stirs up division after warning him once and then twice, have nothing more to do with him. Philippians 2, 3, and 4. Do nothing. Mm. Well, I had to pray because I didn't do anything. Because there's times when things come upon us and, you know, on the way here, God was saying, people don't think like you. People don't do things like you. People don't have that heartfelt love for others. People don't stand like you stand. And I can't get upset because... I do something and other people don't like it. I just have to do it the way that God says do it. And then there's sometimes people will bring us something, and that's just not the way I was thinking. That's not how I was feeling on the situation. And so I spoke how I felt. Whether you liked it or didn't like it, it was because that was how I was feeling and everybody wants to tell you how to feel everybody want to tell you which way to go and me you ought to call my husband honey why don't you drive this way why did you go this way well turn the radio on turn the radio off you know we have we all do it we all have certain ways that we handle things but are we handling it the way we want to handle it, or we are, are I'm going to stutter right now, okay? Because I'm getting excited. But are we handling it the way that God handles it? Are we saying, okay, Holy Ghost, I need you right now? No. No. I didn't call on the Holy Ghost. My flesh got in the way. My flesh wanted to, mm, y'all, look at my face. Y'all know how, mm. And I'm have, I had to pray all day and thank God for that I'm got my mind. He said, and Pastor Williams ministered this in devotion yesterday. Be still and know that I'm God. Okay, so I had to be still and know that this was God saying, be still. And I'm telling you, we tend to want to do the things that, worked when we were in the world, but it's not working in the kingdom. That was good. I had to give myself a star. That was really good. It doesn't work in the kingdom because I, a lot of times, you know, I really don't want to say this because my husband told me, but a lot of times when you get two, three, four, five people saying the same thing, then he said, Donna, you need to look in the mirror because they might be telling you the right thing and you just don't want to receive it. Well, there's times I don't want to receive it. I'm not going to be totally against. Look, I noticed, notice I said totally against somebody telling me something. But at the moment, I know, I know, I know. It's the moment. It's the moment. You know, in that moment, you got to 
come quickly. Get it, catch it, catch it, receive it. The Bible says believe and receive in Mark 11. It says believe and receive. Yeah, read the whole book. I know verses 23 on down, but believe and receive. And so th those, those, it says, uh, you know, we have to speak to those mountains, be thy removed. Some things that people tell us, they're mountains, and, and we're not ready to get rid of those mountains. We're not ready to take the hammer and beat them rocks, beat that mountain. Because it says, uh, speak to that mountain, be thy removed. Take that hammer, take that shovel, get them rocks out the way so that you can step over into another dimension, so you can step over into a, a, the future, so you can step over away from hurt, harm, and danger, abuse. You know, everything's going on. I mean, I looked at TV yesterday, and I was just overwhelmed. And I know I was overwhelmed in some of the stories we see, some of the um, things that are going on TV that all the, the world is coming in on. I mean, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa ooh. You know, things that, uh, that were done in the world, and now that we're in the kingdom, now instead of uh, it being gone, it's coming on TV. And let me tell you, huh, tell me that flesh don't rise up. Tell me this. Wow, that looks good. Oh, I remember drinking that, you know, that martini, and, you know, they got salt all on it and drinking that certain beer or whatever. The, these things are coming up, and they're coming up on TV, on Facebook, YouTube, uh, even when you texting I'm, uh, on your phone and people sending you pictures of me like, whoa, what did I do that somebody would send me something like that? I mean, I was, I was hurt and I, I text back, don't ever send me something like that. That's how come you have to be very careful in what you see, what you hear, how you hear, how you see it, because everything don't line up with the word of God. And I'm just here to tell you that God, God is good. And he tells us, he says, but he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. I had to humble myself today. I had to humble myself. I had to talk to myself. I had to talk to my spirit. I had to bind my flesh. I had to curse my flesh to the root because all the way over here, the drive, that drive from where I live to come to uh, a UPTV, I'm telling you, I, hey, I was boxing. I was fighting because my flesh, it rose up. It rose, and I mean when it rose up, it was like a mountain. I mean, it looked like it got bigger and bigger and bigger the more I got closer to this station. And it was like, just go in there and start fussing. Just go in there and have an attitude. Well, no, that's not what God wanted me to do. And that's not what he wants you to do. He wants you to calm down, little fella. Calm down. Woo, calm down because... We can do things out of anger. We can hurt somebody. We can say things to somebody to hurt them, and then they go away, and we don't see them anymore, and we don't know what we did to them. That's how come bullying, it's, it's, not, it's not nice, it's not fun, because once you bully somebody, you don't know what they're gonna do afterwards. That's from the pits of hell, hello. Abuse is from the pits of hell. Child abuse is from the pits of hell. Who ever heard of somebody beating on a baby and shaking a baby? Whoop, from the pits of hell. Curse it to the root. Love, love, love. Jesus died because of God's love. God's love, when we were all in our sin, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross that all our sins were forgiven. 2,000 years ago. He gave his only begotten son because he loved us so much that all that's going on in this world, we don't have to step into that. Look, I stepped out. I looked at what I stepped out about. Oh, my God. I don't want to step back into it. That's how I come all the way here. Mm, mm, mm. I, had, I had to get into the word. I come in here 
and, 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 and they were ready for me to come on. The, the, I, the, I had to go back and get another scripture because you know what? Sometimes you're not delivered right away uh, or you haven't received your deliverance right away. And it's and being humble, proud, me, proud, ooh. But being, I, I, had, I, I had my pride rose up and I had to bring it back down. You know, so that I could be a vessel, I could be a servant, uh, I, I could, I could love on you. With that pride, you can't do that. That pride make you think about just you, yourself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. Whatever you do, uh, whatever, uh, it's all about me. And I had to come down from that high horse. I had to get off that high. If that, if that horse had to buck me out of fear and hurt myself. See, I had to bring me down. And I had to do it. You couldn't do it. My husband couldn't do it. My kids couldn't do it. I had to get off that high horse myself. And a lot of times we, we, we don't want to because we think it looks good, but it doesn't look good. It don't look good on us. It don't look good on me. So I, I had to get myself together. It says here, um, okay, it says in Hebrews 4 and 12, this is good. And, and, and get these scriptures and read them. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints. I mean, okay, okay. I, I had to calm down, okay? Joints <clears throat> and of marrow and of discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. In other words, the word going to dig, dig, dig all down in your soul, all down in your heart. It's like your heart just, you know, come on, let's get it right. Because, see, when you don't get it right, your heart gets to pumping a little bit faster, and you don't want that to happen. You need to calm down, fella. Okay, like I always say, calm down, Jim Shoe, because you don't want the things that's going on in your body to explode. So God says, it's the word, the word, the word of God is living and active and sharper than a two-edged sword. It comes to cut out all that that's not like him. It's, it, it's, it, it's, come, it's, it's for us to discern the right way of doing things. Listen to what God is saying. Mm. To put off your old self, Ephesians 4.22. See, my old self stayed angry. I was mean, hateful, cold. I don't look it now. I mean, hey. <laughs> I don't look like I was cold and I could care less. Whew. Thank God for the change. Change ain't change till you change. Donna Jones changed. I do have some issues though. I, you know, I, you know, let, let me get this right now. I've changed. I've come a long ways. But sometimes they pop up. They pop up. And that old way come wants to come back. But I catch it. I catch it. I be wanting to go off on folks. The other day, uh, I just threw my hands up because I'm trying to find a solution and everybody around me is losing their senses. I was losing my senses. And my, I got in the car and my husband said, ooh, you know you was ugly. I, that's how, that's how can I, I guess I might have to say that's how mean I was. It just came out. I didn't catch it. I had to text, I'm sorry, would you accept my apology? I had to text that to two people because me, I was like, you're not listening to me. Everybody getting all uptight. It's like the round table. Everybody around the round table is all mad. Look, mad, had, and sad, okay? And, and nobody was getting it right. And, and, and it was like, well, if, if, that's, if, if that's happening in your life and you're not getting it right and you're, going, you're doing the same thing over and over and over and looking for another uh, result, I think that's called stupid. You can't keep doing the same thing, Donna. I didn't call your name. And, and expect a different result. You, you got to watch yourself. You got to do what the Bible says here. 
And it says, um, whew, put off the old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt. How you talking to your kids? How you talking to your husband? How you talking to your wife? How you talking to your coworkers? Is it corrupt or is it life? And it says, and is corrupt through deceitful desires. What, what are you looking for to get out of this? You manipulating somebody so you can get this, this, and that? Is that what you're doing? Stop. Stop. Read Ephesians 4.22. <laughs> Put off the old man. Okay? Let me tell you. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God and true righteousness and holiness. We holy. He's, if God says I'm holy, I'm holy. I don't care what you call me. If you, if you, you holier than thou, thank you. You know, a lot of people think that that's going to, that's a statement that's going to hurt somebody. Oh, you act holier than thou. You see that in me? <laughs> Thank you. Because I, I am holy. I'm righteous. I'm unique. Whew. I'm beautiful. I'm wondrously made. I'm marvelous. I'm all that God calls me. And I had to get rid of that old man being cold and rude and hateful and manipulating and, you know, trying to figure out how to get my way. I, I did all that. And I was good at it. That's what's so bad about it. I was good at it. Okay, hello. And I'm not even going to go way back and tell you what I did. Uh -uh. Don't, even, don't even try to think what I did because you have no idea. But thank God for Jesus that I've been delivered. I've been delivered. I'm a new creature. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm righteous and I'm a winner. I'm victorious. That's what you are. You see, notice, you notice that I am, I am. I, that's what you got to do. You got to say, I am. I am righteous. I am worthy. You got to say these things out loud. And I always say, there's no such thing as a silent prayer. Now, Anybody, go, go tell your pastor and bring it to me because I'm going to show him. He's, the Bible says, say, say, say. Jesus said, as it is written, Jesus said, it is finished. He said these things out loud. And then he turned around and said, you say. So that's the reason why I say I'm more than a conqueror. You know, this turned out really good. I'm just so proud of myself. But then he says, therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak. You can't, you can't speak and say something without saying something. It says, speak the truth with this neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and don't sin. I was angry when I, when I, was, coming, when I was on my way here, but I didn't sin. I, I, the, the, the voice of God was more thicker and, and stronger than what I was thinking. So I was angry, but that anger went away. You can't, you can't roll in, in the mud and keep rolling over and over and over thinking you're going to get it. No, get up out the mud. Get out the mud. Go wash yourself off and, 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 and get rid of that anger. It says, do not sin. Do not let the sun come down on your anger. That's just like married. Oh, my hands went up. That's just like married people. You can't go to bed mad. That No, it says don't let the sun come down on your anger. Sit up straight. Talk about it. Hug, kiss. Don't let that, don't let the devil separate you. That's just like families. Don't let the devil come down on you it, and you angry. Get rid of all that anger. You want to know how come there ain't no love in your house? Because you're still angry. When the woman walk in, you're mad. When the man walk in, you're mad. When the kids come home from school, you're still mad. You got to pray. You got to get on your knees and pray and say, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me get rid of this anger. Read the word. The other day, I, I mean, I had so much pain. I knew it wasn't God. And I had a paper that has 31 healing scriptures. But yeah, text it, 31 healing scriptures. Text it, it'll pop up on your cell phone. 
I got to, because I, I, I printed them, and I got them, and I started reading them. I wouldn't let nothing come in between me and that word, and I just kept reading those 31 healing scriptures, and then, and then I noticed, I noticed I didn't have any pain anymore. See, you got to get in the word and find out whatever it is you angry about. See, yeah, you need healing mentally, spiritually. Physically, you, 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 you need the healing. But then go find out why you, everything you going through, somebody in this Bible went through it and God showed them how to get out of it because he said, I gave you, oh my, I, I didn't turn my cell phone off. But God said, I gave you a way of escape. So this is what we have to do. We have to get out there get into this Bible, and find out a way of escape. We just have to do that. That was God calling me. Okay, hello. <laughs> find the way of escape. Because I know there's a lot of men and women out there, and, and you just hate to, you hate to go home. You don't want to go home. But you can't stay at work either. They locking the doors. So you can't stay there. Now, you can go to church. Well, I don't know no anymore, but Restoration Urban Ministries doors are open all the time. Go in there and, 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 and get down on your knees and pray. Get quiet. Get quiet in your car. Be somewhere where it's quiet. You know, like I always tell you, I love fishing. I love to go fishing. I'm not, you know, no pro or nothing like that. But uh, I like the... The atmosphere, the, the, the calmness of the water. Sometimes it's moving fast, but it, you just watch it move, just watch it move. You know, the trees and these acorns or whatever they are, they falling from the tree. You got to be careful they don't hit you in the head. But I, I, it, it's calm, I can think. And that's what it's all about, that we get this body in line. Because do you know that all this mindset of anger and being mad at somebody all the time brings on sickness that 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 brings on sickness too i mean things happen to us but thank god that he has healed us we are healed by the stripes of jesus and we've been delivered from the enemy's hand satan only wants to come and steal kill and destroy you learn how to if you're home and you want the kids to come in, and you want them to be quiet, then have their favorite uh, meal. Uh, the other day, I told my husband, I said, I want me some pancakes. And so the next thing that I, no I noticed that he was fixing pancakes. I wanted one pancake, and it just made me so happy. See, just that one pancake. So this is what we have to do. We have to find it in the Word of God on how to handle things. God says, what kind of steward you gonna be over this? You don't have any money, the lights need paid, the mortgage needs to be paid off, the rent ain't paid. You know what? Go to God, because he said in James, he said, you have not because you ask not. And don't always go to God because you want something, but go to God because you love him and you have a relationship with him. And those that don't have a relationship with him, all you have to do is say, Lord, come into my life, and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. He says, you are saved, and all your sins are washed away. God bless you. I'm Donna Jones, and this is Be You, Say Bye. Amen. God bless.